Journal Entry 63 Okay, the castle isn't as bustling as I thought it would be. Went in with Marcus and observed court. With a few hours of peasants' complaints, hilariously one-sided criminal trials, and the local gossip hour. Apparently this kind of thing is not common with the other kingdoms. It's just that there are no nobles in town, so the king has to open court so he can pretend he's important. He's not even married, and his mistress is an ugly half-orc. Well, ugly face, but she's got some hot curves. I bet he uses a cloth sack. Anyways, I think our best opportunity would be to get in during court, slip away at the end and hang out in one of the unused castle rooms until night, and then do the deed. Marcus wanted to help, but he's our public face, and he shouldn't get involved. Mike will be waiting near the castle in case we need assistance in escaping the grounds. Just me and Jason. Court starts in a few hours, so we'll begin Project Kingslayer then. Journal Entry 64 Well, it didn't go as planned, but it didn't go entirely bad either. We slipped off and on our way out of the court and occupied a dusty room in the East Wing. Poked around for a bit, found a few silver coins laying around. A few hours after nightfall, we moved out made it to the fourth floor of this wing, which is mostly unused. Only had to slip past a couple of off-duty staff. We had to put down one noisy cleaning lady. No, oh, she's still alive. I tried a new trick on her, a kind of memory loop. Not sure if it worked, but she casually walked out of the room and into a wall, knocked herself out. <laughs> good enough, I guess. She didn't get a good look at us, at least. Did some climbing around outside to get to the balcony, and we were in the king's chamber. Just like that. Then we sat there for half an hour staring. I couldn't do it. Jason finally manned up and put a pillow over the king's face and slit his throat before he could begin to struggle. Kinda got an adrenaline high after that. Grabbed some things from the room, some coinage, some magic-looking baubles, and rappelled off the balcony using rope. Then we got caught, plowed right into a guard and one of the gardeners making out. I put down the guard before he could fumble his pants back on and get his sword, and Jason took down the gardener. I don't feel good about this job at all. 